Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be talking about the lip department, which, you know, kind of looks naked right now. Let's be honest. And I wanted to review the beautiful MAC Cosmetics lip pencils, which by the way, I have a lot. Like. So the first thing that I have to say about these is they are quite on the more expensive side. They are $25 Canadian each, but, but girl, okay, when you look at this pencil, it is hard wood, which is so rare to find these days. And this will last you so long. It's just really, really insane. It is one of the first lip pencils that I bought when I started my makeup collection. And the first color that I bought is Boldly Bare, which is this one right here. It is such a beautiful nude color, which I just love it so much. Anyways, um, <laughs> on top of this, it went viral on TikTok, which... I can understand why it's like the OG and the most beautiful lip pencil you can get. I am uh, on the website and it says that it is a pencil in a wide range of colors designed for shaping, lining, or filling in lips. Which, talking about the uh, color range of these pencils, there are a lot of pencils and a lot of different colors, but I feel like there are some colors missing in the collection and I just wish that they would just include more color into this, this collection. It would just look absolutely stunning and it would just work better in my opinion. Anyways, it has a smooth creamy texture that is perfect for outlining lips or coloring them in. These pencils feature a smooth and creamy formula and a texture that won't skip or drag. It applies quickly and precisely, which is 100% true. It is not too creamy to the point where it kind of like, like if you press too hard, it's gonna like smudge. It doesn't do that at all. So it is smooth, it is creamy, but it has this sturdiness, the right sturdiness, so you don't mess up your entire face and this one you can definitely sharpen it really really thinly at the top and even if it breaks depending on the pressure that you're putting it's not gonna do a weird things on your lip or outside of your lip and it's not gonna mess up your makeup okay 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 i was searching for <laughs> okay so all of these are the colors that i own from my cosmetics lip pencils i guess i almost have the entire collection how many shades do they have there are i think 21 shades and i have like 19 or 18 of them so i almost have them all <laughs> i'm gonna swatch them on my arm and i'm gonna be putting them on my lips which I hope I'm not um, gonna damage my lips because 18, 19 shades of lip liners, which these ones, you know, it's not just a lipstick to wipe. So hopefully I don't uh, damage my lips. If not, I'm just gonna put extra lip balm tomorrow <laughs> and for the, you know, upcoming week. So hopefully you guys can see all the colors properly on camera, but I decided to put them into different categories. So the first color that I put on there is the edge to edge lip pencil, which this one, is a really a nice light pink. It is a dirty blue toned pink and it just is super beautiful if you like to have like a Barbie pink kind of lipstick. And then we have the shade Darvish, which this one is a little bit more natural than edge to edge. It is a little bit more mauve. So depending on your skin tone, this might look a little bit more natural, but there is some shimmers in there. So you might not like the shimmers in there. You know, it depends what you like, but this one is just, mauve pink which just looks super gorgeous even though there's shimmers it's not like bright shimmers but you can tell that it's there so the next one is called boldly bare and this one is like a brown color i put them into the pink category because it is just a brown pink and this brown pink is a little bit more warm than other ones so if you're a little bit more on the cooler side this might look orangey a bit to you it still looks good on me but i would like something a little bit less you know warm than this one then we have this one this color is called whirl and this color is just so beautiful so this one is a brown pink but more on the cooler side so there's a little bit of mauve in there and it just looks so stunning on my lips this is my go-to color now and i'm going so quickly through it like every day i'm using this one it's just my go-to color for now it just fits with so many lipsticks that you have in your collection that it's, it's amazing this one is sore and this one is really nice i feel like it resembles a little bit the world color but this one is a little bit more bright and has a little bit more warmth into this one if you like to have a deeper pink lip this one is going to be for you i feel like it's not too warm and it's not too cool toned either so it's the, just the perfect in between the next one it's magenta and it's literally <laughs> the name magenta is just so pretty this is for you, if you like to have a very bright neon lip, 
This is gonna look so great on darker skin tones. It just looks absolutely amazing. So if you like a bright lip color, this one is gonna be for you. And even the next one, this is the called Cyber World. This one I've had for so long and I kind of kept it on the side at first, but this, you guys, with like a deep red with it oh my god it's just it's it's just amazing it looks so good like you mix it with another lipstick it is just life-changing and this is going to look so great on deeper skin tones especially if you like a purple lip or you want to mix it with reds or other you know other tones and other colors it just looks great and it's going to be like an everyday type of thing all right so we're going to the brown shades which some of them i use some of them i use less but i still have them you know so this one is in the shade oak and this one i do use a lot it's just a soft beige brown which looks absolutely stunning on me um if you are a little bit cooler um like very very pink that's going to look that might look orange on you. Next shade, we have Strip Down, which this one I haven't worn that much. Honestly, look, it's, it's still very big. <laughs> I don't know. This one is more on the pinky warm side, which it's it looks orangey on me, to be honest. It's a creamy brown beige and... There's just so much pink in it. This color, I I don't know. I, I I need to have the right lipstick to wear it on me. I like the color. A lot of people love this color. I just feel like, I don't know, on me. It's just, I just love the formulation of the lipsticks. And I have to have different lipsticks. And I'm sure that it's going to look great if I mix it with another lip liner. The next one, we have Spice. So this one is a brown red warm like the color how i can explain it is you have a brick outside right and there's the sun on it then the brick is so old that the sun washed it so it lost its color so that's the kind of color that i would describe it as it is a red brown on the warm side it's a brick that is washed by the sun and then we have one of the other ones that i really really love this one is in the shade cork this one is a beautiful brown but it's not too warm it's not too warm. It's just the right amount of brown and it's super deep and rich. Not too deep compared to chestnut, but this one is just a beautiful golden brown. Like, I don't know how to describe stuff, honestly. Really beautiful gray color. It is called Stone and this, if you want uh, to contour your lip, if you want to use it for a lot of different stuff. So to put like a mole on your face, this is going to be the right color for you. Stone is just absolutely beautiful. It is such a bestseller um it looks really beautiful and then we have the best loved chestnut color so this color is so beautiful on deeper skin tone it is the perfect color the perfect brown and it just looks good on literally anybody and it is intense and then one after that that is super beautiful i didn't think i would like it because it's orange this shade is called chicory this one is kind of like a dirty orange red color and it's so beautiful i honestly love this one especially when i'm in my orange phase i had an orange phase and i was wearing orange all the time and it's muted down it's not like a bright orange it's very much of a dirty orange color then we have this one which this one is a beautiful red color this is a fire truck red it's so bright. It's just a really bright color. And I feel like I can see a little bit of orange in there. It's just gorgeous. Then we have Cherry, which this one is a deep red with, um, you know, blue tones in it. It is such a creamy and beautiful color. If you love to have a blue toned lip, a red lip, then this is definitely the lip liner for you because it's absolutely gorgeous. Then we have Ruby Woo, Ruby Roo. So this one is a really nice red, a vivid blue red, matte as well. Matte is the number one thing that we want. It's like the formula, the iconic formula of Ruby Roo. It is super matte. And then we have this one. This is in the shade Auburn. And Auburn is such a beautiful color. It is, to me, there is some orange in there. It kind of looks brownish a little bit on my skin tone, but it says intense orange reddish brown, which totally worth it. This with a lighter red in the center is just so delicious on your lips. And it is a must have this on your lips, girl. It's going to look stunning. And then we have the shade Brick that I've had for so long. I don't use it that much. I don't know why. Like I've, I've been using it so much, but you really don't need a lot of it. And this one is just a really beautiful deep red. 
that has more on the blue tone also. Anyways, this one I have up for a long time. I don't know if they still have it, but um, that is all the shades. So these were really rough swatches, which my lips are killing me right now, but at least you know what it looks like on my lips. And my lips are a little bit more, I would say they're not too cool pink. They have a little bit of warmth in there, so it's like mid-tone. I wouldn't say like it's warm or it's, it's more like neutral, okay? So that's my shade of pink. And the other thing that I have to, to say about these lip pencils, of course, is that they are not transfer proof at all. So I do have some on my shirt at the moment and I just wanted to show you guys it's starting to rub off a little bit. So if you are eating something, if you are drinking from a cup, it's gonna remove. So the good thing is that it removes pretty easily. You know, you're not gonna have any problems with that, but it's not gonna last as long. If you put like a lipstick that is very long lasting, you know, it's gonna last super, super long. But I'm just gonna show you, this is not even a wake up makeup wipe. This is like a baby wipe. So it's only like water and the wipes, so you know, it's removing pretty, pretty easily. They have been there for a while now, so that's why there is a little bit left. But if you are applying it and you made a mistake, do not worry, you can remove it instantly without any anything. So that's how I swatched um, my lip pencils. I just put it on, show you for literally two seconds, and then I removed it and it was really, really easy. Anyway, so that is the lip pencils all swatched, all showed to you guys. I don't have all of the colors. I wish I had all of these, but I don't. So if you want to know the lip combination that I have right now, I decided to wear something a little bit more kind of red orangey. The lip pencil that I chose is Chicory. So this is the orange red that I had. And the lipstick that I am using today is the Pat McGrath Elsin 2. And this one is a bright orange red. So this is the combination for today. Super cute. I really highly recommend these lip pencils. They are honestly my favorites. Just because number one, they're wood, like I said, they last super long. You know, you can use them a lot. Um, they are long lasting. You have to let them dry a little bit. If you put a lip primer right under, it's gonna add longevity to your lipsticks and your lip pencil, of course. Um, they are not transfer proof, so that's kind of like a meh, but the formula, absolutely gorgeous. It just glides on, not too much in a creamy, disgusting way, but it's, it's just firm enough. It's the right firmness for you to be able to just apply it beautifully. And these, they're definitely for makeup artists because it's so easy to sanitize these. You can, you know, push, push alcohol, you sharpen them up and they are ready to roll for other people to use it. So really great, really great. Also, tell me down below which colors were your favorite. Mine, like I said, was the color world. That's the one that I've been wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. If not, it's probably around cork, oak, or even chicory, the one that I'm wearing right now. But these are my top colors. And in the red, I was using a lot of the shade of brick because it is definitely deeper than my reds that I have. And it gave like a dimension to my lip, which I just really, really love. So tell me down below, which is your favorite color. Do you have one of the colors that I don't have? Tell me down below if you do, because I wanna know for sure 100%. And make sure to like the video, comment down below what you wanna see next. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on beauty, lifestyle, reviews, and a whole lot more. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much again for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye guys.